Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. My name is Tommy Wave, and today we'll be taking a look at Spider Hazes or Whip Warrior. Um, this deck comes to us courtesy of Spider Haz, who is in the chat right now. Thank you so much. Actually, came over from Cloudy HS's stream, so a big shout out to Cloudy HS as well. Uh, and this is Whip Warrior. We're talking about Overlord's Whip, which is a card from Rastakhan's Rumble that actually hasn't been seeing a lot of love in standard. So Spider Haz has got a spicy wild list for us. Uh, if you haven't seen this card before, it is a three mana, two four weapon. So great stats. Uh, but it says after you play a minion, deal one damage to it. So what uh, this deck is trying to do is take advantage of that. Uh, of our minions being damaged. We've got lots of cards like uh, with enrage effects like Warbot, like Red Band Wasp, uh, that kind of stuff. We've also got cards that take advantage of our minions being damaged like Rampage uh, and cards like that. Uh, and we've even got really cool synergies in here like Spiteful Smith. So five mana, four, six, plus two attack whilst it's damaged. If we have the, uh, the whip in play, all of a sudden the Smith gets damaged, goes to a four, five, gives the whip an extra plus to attack and we've got a four attack weapon with four durability which uh, sounds quite quite cool now if you are coming over from the hearthbone deck article uh, this deck did originally have a patches in it unfortunately don't have patches at the moment disenchanted him when he got nerfed never remade him um, but if we start covering more wild I definitely might consider recrafting him so instead we're actually doing something fun we've got a one of sudden genesis in here uh, which we played a little bit of rush warrior before and it was a, a pretty fun card so let's see if we can have some fun with Sudden Genesis here. Uh, also make that deck a little bit more budget for all you budget players out there. Uh, regardless, we won't talk too much about the rest of the deck because it is a wild deck. We're not going to pre uh, pretend like we know everything about wild, but we certainly are going to jump in and have some fun games. And I do want to give a big shout out to Blizzard ANZ who they did uh, throw us the Hakar card back. We uh, we're one of the first couple of people to, to get it. So we're going to jump onto the wild ladder and see if any of these people at rank 20 wild have the uh, have the Hakar card back, uh, and if they don't, we're gonna spread the love to them. All right, let's go. Oh. All right, we are here with Spider Huzz's Whip Warrior, and we got lucky. We do have the whip in our opening hand, so probably don't need this Forge of Souls or this upgrade. I think we want to try and find our uh, our war bots, that kind of stuff. Make sure that we don't die to whatever this priest is trying to do. Okay, okay. Not the greatest draw. Would definitely rather be doing, uh, you know, playing Forge of Souls on turn turn two than nothing. But we'll see how aggressive this priest is. Ooh, our opponent's uh, doing something spicy over there. Now the question is, do we, do we play the over? Overlord's Whip, the Whip, on turn three? Or do we play the Frothing Berserker? Oh my gosh. Our opponent's gonna see all our plans. I guess we go for Whip because then we can like Frothing Berserker Rampage. Or Frothing Berserker Upgrade. I'm not too sure. Spider, if you've got some uh, Spider Hearts, got some advice. Now is the time. Be oh no! Happy New Year! Ooh, that's a that's a pretty good draw. So we can just straight up trade with the uh, frothing berserker. I think that's what we want to do. We don't really want to let uh, we don't want to let this thing grow out of uh, out of control. Uh, and we'll, we'll upgrade this now. But we'll, we'll save the, uh, the durability for once we drop the smith. If our opponent has a, uh, <laughs> form of weapon removal right now, we'll... I guess we can just cry. C try... We can cry tears of blood from our, uh... Our Hakar... Our Hakar card back. It was, we've been corrupted with positivity. This Spiteful Smith, though... I mean, I, I'm down for a 5 durability uh, Arcanite Reaper any day of the week. Ooh. I don't think we'll, uh, I think we'll get a hit in here. We'll try not to be too greedy. Ooh. 
What's our opponent got? Corrosive Sludge? They are bad. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they, they have their own spiteful smith. How foolish of us. Uh, unfortunately, no pirate in play for the Blood Cell Cultist. Uh, I guess we could just rampage up this Spiteful Smith and use that to trade in. Yeah, I kind of like that. We do have lethal with uh, with this spiteful smith next turn. Four attack against the priest is yeah tremendous. Of course, you know we did kind of ruin that with by playing the rampage. But you know if our opponent has a shadow of death here, I think what we're happy with them to you know have the decision. Embrace darkness. Oh, oh dear. Uh, so this is lethal, right? We play this spiteful smith. We get seven. Uh, this is 6, so 13. Yeah, 20. Ooh. Tasty. Gah. Got him. There you go. So, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is draw the whip. Easy game. <laughs> well played, Tarapan. Playing some, uh, some interesting cards there. Uh, good on them. Hopefully they enjoy that positivity card back. Okay, here again with Whip Warrior. Send all these back, we'll keep the Overlord's Whip. Drew Whip, easy. Easy game, yeah. <laughs> Another one of these kind of awkward draws, but... All we need is the Whip, right? It's not like this odd, or this odd Paladin is just gonna... destroy us. By the time we do anything, that's not a warbot. Reporting for duty. Oh dear. Hmm. What can save us? I don't think anything can save us. For duty. I mean, maybe if our opponent just doesn't do anything for the rest of the game, we might have a shot. Well met. Okay. Adds a recruit to your hand? No, it summons. Is there one that adds one to your hand? Okay. Hmm. Oof, wasn't competitive spirit. Okay. I think the odd pally auto loss is fine. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What's odd pally's uh, play rate at certain ranks? Because I imagine at rank 20, especially if it's filled with a lot of, like, um, a lot of standard players. I think odd pally might have a pretty high occurrence rate. This is definitely where, uh, you know, expanding that uh, Forge of Souls package could be helpful. Maybe getting like two whips and a, a death spider or, a, or two or uh, some blood raises or two. I guess the, the whip does stick around for so long though, which can make things a bit tough. Oh, 
Feel free to, to make edits to the deck as you go. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, most of the time when we play decks, especially off Hearthbone, I just like to play them as close to Aziz as possible. Uh, just because that helps. Oh my gosh, yeah, Adric. <laughs> Woo! That's a spicy one. Uh, I mean, we could Rampage and Sudden Genesis here. What is this secret? What is this secret? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that's being tremendously rude. Ugh. Is it the weird, is it the laser? Is it the, if you have four minions and play another one, kill it? Is it hidden wisdom? What is this? The one where you play a minion with three or more already destroyed. Yeah. Faraki Battle Axe. Great, this person's deck is fantastic. Benevolent Jin. at least it's not a four, six. This is why the whip is essential. Yeah, definitely feeling it now. Although, yeah, we did have to use the whip just to kind of stay in this game, right? Oh, get out of here, Faraki Battle Axe. Ah. Yeah, opponent the well played. GG. So interesting, odd paladin list there. With a lot of uh, a lot of real funky cards there. The well played for our opponent. Unfortunately, just didn't have any uh, early game action to go with that whip. So uh, our opponent was able to get under us and get it get that damage in early. GGs. Okay, here up against the druid with spider Huzz's whip warrior. We we'll definitely send all of these back. Looking for that whip or that forge of souls. Uh, no whip, not great, but hopefully our opponents may be playing, uh, you know, maybe our opponents playing token druid, and we can actually get all kinds of buffs off. Not looking great, not looking great for the home team, but at the very least. Having all of these minions make swipe a little bit awkward. It was three to four years ago, I think. Ah. Don't attack those. All oh, these small boys. Give them the one power beatdowns. I can see. <laughs> Got him! 
enjoy the card back. <laughs> All right, well, we'll do we'll do one more. Okay, up against the shaman here. Now we do want to try and find that. Uh, we do want to try and find that overlord's whip. I'm tempted to just do a full mulligan here, because that's just how uh, how the last couple of games have been playing out. Where we when we didn't have the whip, the deck felt not great. Oh, nice. Got the whip. We even got an upgrade as well. We could coin this out on turn two. So that we can, uh, you know, red band wasp upgrade on turn three. Scared of the whip, yes. Our last opponent was definitely scared of everything that we could do with that whip. Got some options here now. Now that we have two wasps, if our opponent just like... If our opponent totems and rolls the 1-1, one, one, I'd definitely uh, throw a red band wasp at it. See that 1-1! One, one. Take out this uh, this one. Just make the trading a little bit easier. GG's. <laughs> oh, I guess we could have kept playing to see if we drew another one, but I, uh, I think that's definitely the uh, the story with the the Whip Warrior deck. Uh, this deck is really fun. Uh, I think if uh, any of you out there, if you've got the pieces, including or not including the the patches or any of this other stuff, I, I think it's just a really fun deck. If you want to get some uh, some play out of your Overlord's Whip, you want to try some stuff out. Wild is definitely the place to do it. Uh, I think uh, a, lot, a lot of the stuff here is to like, and I'd love to experiment out, uh, Spider Huzz was talking about uh, Battle Rage for some card draw. I think that could totally be uh, be a good path to take this deck down. Maybe, uh, you know, cut out some of the, uh, the more expensive cards, or try and find some uh, room to cut some expensive cards. And get some more cheap cards in here, Battle Rage some stuff. Maybe uh, we can start even including some Inner Rages. Inner Rage combo, some Wargans or something like that. I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff out there that we could do with this deck, and I'm just really excited to uh, excited to try it out. We could also try maybe going a bit deeper and playing like Animated Berserker as another uh, as another way to enable all of these cards and just kind of have some fun with it, especially uh, before we have to start really thinking about if uh, you know this Whip Warrior or this self damaging Warrior archetype. Uh, is actually viable once the expansion happens. We have to start doing some real testing. So, it's uh, it's good. Big shout out to Spider Haas in the chat as well, and Cloudy HS for uh, bringing this deck to my attention. If you are watching on YouTube, of course, all the links are available in the description, including a link over to the Hearthbone deck article. Please jump over there, give Spider Haas a plus one, leave a lovely, thoughtful comment, like I know you will. All my details are down in the description as well, including a link over to Twitter. That's the best place to catch me at Tommy underscore Wavy. If you've got another sweet deck, another particular whiptacular deck please link it to me uh, but until next time stay safe stay wavy eat the rich corrupt your friends and uh, whip them whip them good bye I hope you enjoyed that video check out other ones over here or come subscribe to the wave pool for more excellent times yeah.